What's up there people, Hunter Spoke Rogers here. Just work out there working on the old El Camino again. Brake dust covers that are bolted to the spindle. Just getting some pieces off. Now it's time to move on to the other side. Alright, just getting the caliber bolts out now. That's the first step to this. Okay, now that I got that free enough to slide in and out. I gotta do my top bolts. But, before I do the top bolt, I'm going to take these things here. You probably ask yourself, what am I going to do with these? I'm going to cut right here. No, I'm just messing with y'all. Don't cut that. You crazy? <laughs> Here's the plan. Don't snag my shorts on the drawer. On the tool drawer. Okay. Gonna turn this welder on here. Take this uh, handle for the trigger and basically I'm going to get some of this wire. This is the wire I use to tie up my uh, brake calibers. Uh, seems to work out pretty good. It's on slow but that's okay, I don't need to come out fast. Turn that off. And this is the wire I'm going to use. You don't really need a piece this long, but this is the piece I got. And this is the piece I'm going to use. So, you're going to want to have this wire and these snips ready to go. At least ready to grab that this is the bolt. So this is the, yes, okay. Once you pull the top one out, you're gonna have to wire up your brake caliber. So you don't want it hanging from this hose. It's bad, no I don't, cause this is a brand new hose. So I'm gonna wire, run the wire through here and up out of here and tie it off right along here. So let me do that and I'll fit this back in. And there you have it. Got a nice little slack in the line. It's all good. 
Tied it uh, wired up in there through the frame. And the next is to pull this pin out, pull this bolt off, slide the brake, rotor off. So let me do that. Have the brake rotor off. Now I just gotta get these three half inch bolts off. And I will be able to take the dust shield off the spindle. Why hello there people. Got the driver's side broke down now. Dust shields off. Tie rod in, tie rod ends loose from both spindles. Brake rotors off. Calibers hanging. All right. Almost, almost pulled the rear end this morning. I said no. Let me stop and continue on with the main objective. And that's getting the A-arms off and getting new bushings and A-arms. Because no matter what, them A-arms definitely need new bushings. They are not in great shape. What's up, people? Hunter Spoke Riders here. Uh, just got through putting in a little bit more work. Uh, at the end of the day, I wasn't really going to plan on doing it, but I had to go get some tools. I was actually going to buy this. It was a coil spring compressor, but... I went to a few auto parts stores and nobody had a brand new one in stock ready to sell. They keep saying, oh, I can just rent this one, I can just rent this one. Uh, I didn't really want to rent it at first because I just wanted to have one here with me so you know, I can use it anytime I want, but I didn't feel like waiting for a new one and I didn't really want to buy this used one, so I went ahead and just rented this one from AutoZone and it, it's a pretty good little... Uh, it did what it was supposed to do. Show you the end results here. Got my uh, coil springs off the vehicle. So that's just another part down. Uh, I think I'm done for the day though. I honestly didn't uh, I didn't plan on doing this uh, coil spring compressor today. Uh, my plan was to buy it today and just wait till next week and uh, pull the springs. But seeing I couldn't buy it, I just went ahead and ran it. And since I ran it, uh, I said I might as well go ahead and uh, put the work in and use it. And I'm going to go turn around. It's only been an hour. And I'm going to take it right back. I'll probably go to the same spot and get it again when it's time to mount the new coil springs. Uh, the new coil springs in there. So that's it for now. Just uh, about to take this back to AutoZone. Just get it in on the old uh, 77 El Camino. Uh, halfway through the teardown process. Old school Chevy. Not sure what year. Four door. Still clean.